In this video, we'll be showing you where the wiring diagram and box labels are located in both QO and Homeline load centers, and also show what information you will find on them. You will find both labels located on the interior sidewalls of the box on both sides. Here we have an enlarged example of a wiring diagram for a load center. In the first section, you will find information on the wire temperature ratings, the service equipment ratings, as well as what service entrance barrier kit is used with your particular load center. In the second section, you will see the actual wiring diagram for the load center as well as where multiple things like the neutral and the phases are laid out. You'll also see information such as box bonding, main breaker type, service ground, and what main lug kit would be used. Moving over, you'll also see the symbols for where tandems can be used in the load center, as well as the equipment grounding symbol. In the third and final section of the wiring diagram, you will see a list of what accessories can be used with the load center, such as, if one is able to be installed, the generator interlock kit that would be used. This is an enlarged example of a box label. In the first section of the box label, you will see your cover catalog number, as well as your mains and bus bar ratings. In the second section, you will see the torque data for the mains, as well as the branch neutral and the equipment ground. In the third section, you will see the short circuit current rating table, which will show you the short circuit current rating at the specified voltage, depending on what mains and branch breakers you use. In the fourth and final section, you will see both the UL manifest as well as the date code. You will see here the actual size of the labels we just discussed. They are about two and a half inches tall by eight and a half inches wide.